Hi everyone! Welcome back to another tutorial and for today's tutorial I want to show you how to make this really gorgeous hourglass in time bracelet. It's got a ton of sparkle and you can probably see that in the camera. Um, they're, uh, they're made with rondelles and of course rondelles always that are faceted always have such beautiful uh, shine to them. So um, it's not a hard project to make. It's super easy to make and it is absolutely stunning. And I'm pretty sure you guys are going to like this bracelet. So for this, you will need, um, if you're making a size 8, so you can judge it from there, um, from here to here, it would be about an inch and a quarter. So you might want to shrink from about here to here. So that would be about an inch and a quarter, which I'm pretty sure it is. Um, yeah, it is. It's an inch and a quarter. So that would remove three of these. That would make approximately a seven inch bracelet as this is an eight inch bracelet. So you can kind of just uh, judge it from there as to what size you're going to need. So if you're going to make a size eight, the one I have here, you will need 17 eight millimeter rondelles. These are the crystal rondelles. Uh, you're going to need 32 bicones, and in here I used a spring mix and of bicones. They were uh, Swarovskis, so I am using Swarovski bicones here, and they're in like um, some kind of a turquoisey bluish color. You're going to need 15 o seed beads. You're going to need a cut button, and you're going to need some Toho 8 o seed beads, and these are in a silver-lined aqua marine. I'm using a size 10 beading needle and a six pound fire line. And on my needle, I have approximately a yard and a half. You will need to add more thread as you go in here um, because uh, the first one I strung on wasn't enough. So when I was getting partially down the um, embellishment on the side, I needed to add um, some more thread. So we're going to need a stop bead. So I'm just going to drop one bead that's not the color of my project. And we're going to pick up this stop bead and it's an 8-0 and I'm just going to let it fall down here and then I'm going to wrap my uh, needle around the hole from the back bottom to the front. You will need a pair of scissors and you could just leave a little tail like that, that because when we get to that end there, um, we're just going to tie it off and you're just going to end up cutting it off. So let's do that. All right. So now we have our stop bead and I wrapped through it twice. It's always a um, good idea to um, wrap twice because the first time is just going to move all over the place. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use... I'm going to move this stuff. Oh, I'm sorry, and, and and you need a cup button. I'm using a cup button, or you can use any kind of button. Um, there's a link in the description box to where you can get these cup buttons. Um, there's only one place you can get them, and that's from the Potomac Bead Company. All right, to get started, you're going to pick up a series of this, an 8 millimeter rondelle and two 11 O's. 8 millimeter rondelle to 11 O's. And I'm going to pick all of these up until I have um, all my rondelles gone. Because I have exactly enough here to make another bracelet. And just let them fall down to your stop bead like that. Okay? So, rondelle to 8 O's. A rondelle, two eight-o's. I have a lot of rondelles and I don't use them in very many projects, so I thought I would use them, use some of them up because they are so beautiful. All right, we're getting close to having six rondelles left. So I'm just continuing to pick them all up until all these rondelles are gone. Okay. Like this. <coughs> That's really pretty colors. Gorgeous. 
I'm trying to do it so that you guys can see um, where I'm going as I go. Okay, and we have one more rondelle to pick up. Okay. Now, we're going to put on our cut button now that we're at this end here, but we're not going to weave through our cut button just yet. Okay, we're just going to attach it. So you're going to pick up three 11 O's or 8 O's, sorry, three of them on your, your needle. You're going to pick up one cup button, and I really don't like the shape of this cup button. It's kind of wonky. It's, I don't know, something wrong with that one. There's a perfect one. And I'm going to pick up, um, one sec, I need, I need an, another eight, um, four millimeter. Why do these look so big? As opposed to these. Something's not right about these crystals. They look just absolutely huge compared to those. And these are supposed to be four millimeter crystals. No, they look like they're about a five. They're not a six. Okay, we've got to we've got to change our color here. And that is definitely something wrong with that color. They have to be five millimeters because they're definitely not fours. They're too big. So I don't want to use them because I don't want to throw my project off. So, I do have, well, I did have several colors of blue, um, but probably not enough in the four millimeter to, um, okay, there's some blue in here, um, there's some That's actually the color I was working with. Um, these colors here will be perfect. So I'm just going to pick those out of these um, Christmas beads. I'm sorry guys, I'll be right back. Okay, so now I've got this all sorted out. Um, you're going to pick up um, your three Eidos, like I told you. Okay. Then you're going to pick up your cup button. Then you're going to pick up a 15-0, one of your Swarovski crystals. And I forgot to mention you need an extra Swarovski crystal um, for your cup button. Okay, so we're just going to put that on like that. And we're going to drop down into the second hole of the cup button and pick up three more 11-0s. And then you're just going to go right back into that uh, crystal um, eight millimeter rundown and then just pull everything nice and tight so let me get that pulled tight there we go now ouch now the next thing you're going to do is besides dropping this pull this tight so your your bracelets tight is pick up two 11 O's and then just go right back into the rondel and just continue to do this all the way down your brace is going to be twisted looking and funky looking but just keep adding your two more 11 o's or 8 o's in between your rondelles like this okay like that and pick up two more all right so just go ahead and do this and when i come back see it's just going to be a little bit uh, wonky and stuff but when we come back all the way around by the time we're finished going through this bracelet you will have reinforced this uh, three times okay so let me um, let me go finish you finish putting your two between and we'll be back okay so I'm at the uh, end here and um, I'm going to pull my stop bead off because this is now where we're going to tie this off okay so just pull your stop bead off and tie a good 
uh, surgeon's knot here. So wrap it around twice like this, nice and tight. Keep your bracelet snuggy and wrap it twice again. Like, whoops. Oops. <laughs> and I don't think it, there we go. All right, so it's it's good and snug. So once we get into beading a wee bit more, then we can uh, cut it off. Whoopsies, it came out, but that's okay. Okay, now pick up, um, <coughs> let's see, I think we're going to pick up, I picked up 18, and I find it a bit snug, so I'm going to pick up 19 um, for the cut button, so 19 11 o's, or 8 o's, I keep wanting to call them 11 o's, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. All right. Now you're just going to go back down into the rondelle like this. I'm really not sure what's going on here. Back down through the um, a couple of sets here because we're going to go back up into this one because we are going to pull this tight, all right? So now you're going to go back up on the other side. So I've gone down here. I've gone down a couple of beads and I'm just going to work my way back up now to reinforce this once. And then we'll do it again after. So I'm just going through these beads like so. Pulling it nice and tight. Okay, now. <coughs> so dry in here. All right. Now, when you get back down here, I'm going to tie one more good knot just so this tightens right up and doesn't pull in on me anymore. So I'm just going to tie another surgeon's knot nice and tight. And one more. And where are we? Oopsies. We don't want this to Mango, there we go. Almost wrapped it around the loop and pull. All right, so this 19 beads should actually be perfect for this. Yeah, it's a little better than and then 18 because it was a really snug getting it on. Okay, so now what you're going to do. is untangle this <laughs> now you're going to work with your so I'm moving my eight o's out of the way right now and I'm just going to be working with these 15 o seed beads so you should be coming out of the bottom of your your closure here where you tied your knot so pick up 15 or <laughs> nine fifteen o's okay skip the rondelle and go into the next two eight o's like that okay pick up nine fifteen o's Skip the rondelle and go into the two eight o's and pull tight. So keep always keep your work pulled tight. Eight. 
9 I picked up, skip the rondelle, and go into the 8-0s. And we're going to do this. This would be, this, this bracelet's probably going to be extremely a lot of fun for you guys because you can mix and match so many colors. Like this one here, I done in this coppery brown rondelles with the coppery brown 8-0s with pinks, um, it's like a pink opal 15-0 with uh, a spring mix of bicones and a gold the Aztec gold cup button so it's and it looks absolutely stunning like that this one is going to be all blues so you're gonna do this all the way down this side of your bracelet oopsies I didn't I got to talking see and I didn't even pick up on all seed beads I picked up two so three four five six seven eight and I see I picked up 10. Skip your rondelle and into your 8 -0. So this is what you're going to do for this whole entire side. So go and do that, putting 9 um, 15 O's over top of each one of these rondelles. And when you get to this side, I'm going to come back, show you how to go through all your cup button again, and go down the other side. And I'll be back. Okay, so I'm at the end here where I'm putting on my very last nine over top of this round down. And I'm just going to go up into these three beads that are right below the cut button. I'm going to go through the cut button and the 15-0. I want to snag that so it's not so difficult to get into it. And then you just go across into your um, four millimeter and back down through your three eight o's there and then you just continue on the other side picking up nine of your 15 o's and skipping the rondelle and putting them on like this again your bracelet's going to be like wonky like this but it's not going to stay this way because once we put our embellishments on, it's going to go flat, normal, okay? So don't panic. This did this to me and it's doing it again. So it's going to go straight. So give it a minute and I'll be back. Okay, so we're at the end here of um, putting our second groups of nines all the way down um, the rondelles. So I've picked up my last nine here and I'm just going to jump over this rondelle and then I'm going to go right through all of these eightos again to reinforce my um, the loop. So just going through all of them. Like so. And now, at the end of your last 8 here, um, I'm going to trim off my thread. This is the tail that we've repeatedly tied off, so we'll just snip it and get rid of it. All right, so now we're at the end here, coming out of your, um, where are we? Out of this 8 here, okay? So what you're gonna do is put your needle into the 15 O's and go through the first five 15 O's in that group there. So make sure you go on the side that you're exiting. So kind of just, you know, twist these to flatten them. They'll, they'll go flat and they'll, they'll sit nice. Okay. Just make sure you're not, uh, twisting them. Okay. You got to kind of, uh, maneuver them a little bit, manipulate them but they do go flat, okay? So you have to do this. So you're not putting your your embellishment on backwards, or on twisted beads. So we've gone through, as you can see, if I was to do this, it would twist, and that would kind of look really pretty. Actually, it does look really pretty. Look at that. Wow, it does look cool. You know what? I may make a bracelet like that because I really like how that twisted. Looks really, really cool. 
Um, normally what I would do is pick up 115, one of the 8-0s, a bicone, an 8 and a 15. Okay, so this is what you have on your needle. And then you're going to skip over these and you're going to go into the fifth bead in the next group of nine. So if you wanted to do the twist, you could still do the same thing, just going through the bead this way. So when we put our embellishments on, um, you're going to have like a twist to all of your um, bracelet. I think that looks absolutely stunning. But it's entirely up to you. If you want to just keep it straight, then don't put the twist in it. Okay? So for now, I'm just showing you how to do the twist. But I'm going to take this out and leave my bracelet flat. So, And by flat, I mean these 8-0s in here are flat like that. Okay? See? They're not twisted. So again, go into the fifth one. So we'll do three, four, five and pull like that okay and then you're going to pick up a 15 an 8 a crystal an 8 and a 15 and then you're going to go into the next bead so count the fifth one which is the middle bead of the groups of nine on the side there whoops and it in there like that so as you're doing all the way down here when you come back up on the other side it will make your bracelet lay flat so long as you didn't twist uh, let me show you again 15 and 8 4 millimeter and 8 and a 15 okay as long as you make sure these are lying flat and no twists in it so I'm going into the fifth bead, which is the middle bead, like so. Okay? So just do that all the way down till you get to your cup button. And I'm going to come back and show you what to do once you hit your, your cup button. Okay? Okay, so I have finished putting on one side of my um, crystals my embellishment. So I'm at the very end here where I've come through all the beads now, uh, all nine of them, and I'm just heading back up into the cup button for its last and final reinforcement. Oops, and I'm missing, make sure you grab the seed bead on your pass going up into the cup button. Okay. And then you're just going to go back down the, the cup button, same way. Back down the three eight o's, And then you're going to go up your first five not in your first group of nine. You're going to be in the fifth bead, which is the middle bead of your 15 o's. And that's all you're going to do. And now you're going to, i got to tie on some new thread. So now you're just going to continue on down the other side. And as you can see, the bracelet's starting to um, lay flatter. Okay? It's not all wonky and, <clears throat> and all um, twisted. And when you put this final round on, it'll be completely flat like that. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. All right, so I am off to uh, put the other side on and I'll be back. Okay, so um, I didn't want to go all the way down and finish this bracelet because I'm not going to keep this bracelet, but you got the gist of what I was doing on that side. And um, all I did was continue on into the... Um, opening of for the cup button and I just went through the middle beads here all these middle beads and just tied a bunch of half hitch knots and cut my thread and your bracelet is done okay so I'm not going to finish that because I'm just going to, to rip it out okay guys I hope you guys enjoyed this 
really fun, beautiful um, hourglass bracelet. It is really stunning and I absolutely love it. Um, if you don't have eight, eight millimeter, try six millimeter, maybe use three millimeter bind cones, but the smaller your bead goes, you're going to need more um, beads to make the length that you need. The bigger your beads are, the less you're going to need. So just remember that as you're uh, creating your design too. So have yourself a great weekend and I'll see you soon on the next video. Bye everyone.